Hey fam, I just ran across this right here. I don't even know uh, what's going on, but it says that uh, Bill Gates is slammed by uh, two other uh, drag kings uh, from his family. And I figure, what? What? Okay, let's see how they uh, want to play with us uh, with this story here. So let's go. Podcaster Russell Brand on his podcast, Joe Rogan called out billionaire Bill Gates for his involvement in public health matters. Let's watch. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation profited millions of dollars on the vaccines millions yeah. millions and millions of dollars it's all yeah. easy to find and then once he dumped the stock then he completely changed his narrative and he started talking about how ineffective the vaccines were and about how the virus wasn't as bad as we thought it was and about it was mostly targeting old and obese people like this is f wild because this is the same guy that through the entire pandemic was talking about how great these vaccines are and these vaccines are so effective and they stop the virus and they stop transmission they stop infection and all that was a lie and he profited off those lies yes. and no everyone wants to pretend that he's just like this amazing philanthropist like no he made a lot of money this yeah. is this is motivated by money and his entire career he's been motivated by money I mean, it's, it's a fair point. It's something we've explored. Yeah, they're all motivated by money and greed and uh, filth. All of them. All of them. Uh, uh, the last two uh, drag kings, what they just showed us, Joe Rogan and that other one with that big ass head. Uh, drag kings, liars, deceivers, Bill Gates, another faker. Uh, 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 M to, what is it? Male to female, uh, female to male, a breastless one another one and now we have two more fakers right here in front of us uh, finna discuss this too okay or on this show uh the timeline does in fact fit uh yeah. he sold uh he sold those st uh, stocks in in uh, pfizer and he was an advocate of the vaccine technology and look i'm, I'm not saying that that's necessarily wrong again i know we talked about this in an earlier segment i don't stigmatize people for wanting to make money but you can make money but then if you also they can't do nothing but laugh because who was making money off of the damn vaccines the vaccines that they was giving away giving scholarships for uh, giving out gift cards for, giving out joints, joints for jabs. Uh, you can go to the bunny rat drench and uh, get your dick sucked, uh, get the jab. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, who's getting paid off of what? I don't understand where all of this money that was made uh, for uh, the vaccine when they was running down the street, uh, running to people's houses trying to give it to them, lining up, showing up, pulling up in garages, uh, pulling up in damn uh, parking lots, uh, building up tents, just passing out the damn vaccine. Uh, what? Where was all this money being made for? What is it? Why is it even discussing anything about money being made for the vaccine when they wasn't doing nothing but trying to pay the people all the time? Scholarships, lotteries. I mean, like, where? Who is believing this? Who? Please, who is believing that? Have like total control over the public discourse of what people are allowed to think and discuss, and you command public policy people that can mandate this, can require it. People can't come into the country right now unless they can, like, still, still, the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, um, unless they get that vaccine. So I, I think that's the frustration: is that someone in a in a position to benefit and did benefit, as Rogan notes, very much financially from the vaccines. You know, then and, and now is pivoting. It, it, it's absolutely. It's wild to hear what Bill Gates has to say about vaccine technology today versus at the start of the pandemic. He, he talked about we're going to... Because they don't mind backtracking, lying, uh, deceiving, whatever they got to say. When they put that script in front of them, they have to say what's on that damn script. Okay? Now, it's up to you if you believe all that bullshit that come up out their mouths. Okay? They made all this money from the damn vaccine. How you make money paying off to every damn body? Okay? First of all, it wasn't about making no damn money. It's about getting that damn shot in your ass so your ass can be hackable and controlled and then die off. You know, however you do it, if you make it through the shots and you can stand up still, then they want to remote control your ass, okay? They want to have fun with the fuck with you. That's all. They want to control you. They want you to have no damn control, period. Period. Bill Gates been always been ever since I known Bill Gates. This one here was always could never send out no food to nobody, nothing but vaccines. The whole time it was ever on the scene, that's all it ever did. Other than when it was doing whatever the hell it was doing over there with computers or something, because everybody seemed to forget that that this one was over there doing shit with computers and stuff. Didn't know nothing about no kind of medicine. Didn't do nothing in medical. Nothing. Nothing. Then all of a sudden, this one here is the damn poster boy for the cure. 
<laughs> the fuck is wrong with everybody? <laughs> Look to do a. Uh, did you hear about the, what's the thing? It's like a. It's like an inhaler type thing, right? That'll stop you from getting COVID. He started talking <laughs> about this the other day. What do you want to bet? He's going to invest in something like that. It'll be the next big thing. Make a lot of money, and then you will change courses again. That's what y'all do. Right. So I wanted to ask you that. I'm just not following it as closely. So he did have a shift in his rhetoric around the vaccines. After now this one, I can like this one. Don't know what's going on. Now wait a minute. What did did he do? Did he? You already know. They just, oh. After he dumped the stock? Yes. It's incredible oh, he what he said more recently about, uh, we, we played it, so Brie and I talked about this a couple weeks back, oh. this interview of him saying about how the vaccines are not, like, it's night and day, what he's saying now. Uh, and, and, and look, I think what he's saying now is correct. Probably should have been, you know, tampered down expectations a little bit the first time around. But he talks about how this is not, you know, this is not, uh, it's, it's not doing a lot for cases at all, um, and, and so on and so forth. Um, it's not maybe ideal deal for people to need to be injected over and over again a lot you know a lot of people don't want to be injected over and over again and <laughs> they don't want to be injected over of course they don't okay not when y'all told them as soon as they take that one that that was the cure that was it that was it right there as long as you did that and you did it for others and you saved and look hey you lost a leg or arm you just put that right on the chin okay you can lose a leg or arm even die just put that right on the chin you know uh, for the herd Im community, uh, herd immunity, uh, whatever the hell they were saying, uh, for you, not for me. You know what? Don't even take it for yourself. Take it for everybody else to fuck around you. All right? This is what they were saying. This is what they said. Now this one over here, stuttering it. <laughs> They're sickening. And at this point, all y'all that took it, y'all should know. Because y'all been taking it ever since. The boosted one. Boosted again. Boosted again. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Y'all ain't scared enough, but well, we got a variant. Yep, we got a variant now. Horse pox, monkey pox. <laughs> Go get your damn shot. Boost it, boost it. They playing with the fucking masses now. They playing with y'all. And it just sounds totally different, and it fits the timeline for selling, for, for dumping stocks, yes. making tons of money from, um, off, of, uh, off of Pfizer. Yeah, so he said, he said that it's missing. It, it, it's not. So, so then, and then he was talking about this spray <laughs> right. that will stop you from getting COVID, which has not been invented yet. Oh, um, okay. and, uh -huh. uh, and, and, so, and so, look, I think, people, I think people deserve, I think viewers, I think the public deserves to know. It's, it's not, I don't want to stop him from speaking, obviously. I don't want to even yeah. stop him from making money oh, but man, when public policy is at stake mm -hmm. when we're all going to be required to do this thing huh. i mean that's the that's the point where i oh. i want there not to be the mandatory intervention but because he commands uh he has so much influence on policy makers uh you know and there, there was the, just this consensus among elites among people who were going to force i mean they're going to add the vaccine they wanted to add the vaccine to the um to the re registry so that then it, it might be because of that required in certain schools, um, uh -huh. still university campuses, still my alma mater, University of Michigan, is going to require the uh, the um, the bivalent booster, uh, e even though. See what I'm saying? They required everything, uh, everything. You can't go to none of that shit unless you put that shit in you. You can't even come over here to Babylon. Uh, you, you you say you want to come over here and have a dream of what they want you to have? Well, you can dream that shit as long as you got that shot up in you. Okay. This is bullshit. Right here. This is complete fucking bullshit right here. You know, there's no. I don't think there is a tremendous health necessity for requiring that. Um, it's not going to do enough for cases to prevent like an outbreak of coronavirus on the. Ain't no outbreak of nothing uh, unless they uh, drop it out and break it out. OK, unless they put it there. That's it. They just want you to get that damn shot. Oh, no. so, you know, you've seen all the all the little young Healthy athletes, once they got them shots in those colleges and everything because they re required it. Uh, the same ones you've seen falling out, the ones that fell down with heart attacks and stuff, uh, myocarditis. Uh, that's what it is there. Myocarditis and blood clots. Not strokes, because that's what the fuck a blood clot is, is a stroke. Nope, we're not going to say stroke. We're going to say blood clots and then myocarditis. And then what else came up? Sudden adult death syndrome. You know what is that? The, doc the doctors was baffled. They were still baffled. They ain't know where this one came from here. The sudden adult death syndrome. When adults just fall out and die, they don't even know why that's happening.
why that's happening. None at all. Campus, um, and th this is a you know an age population that isn't particularly at risk of negative COVID outcomes. The bivalent, there are serious questions about whether it even does anything in addition to the booster, oh, and on and on and on. All, you know, these are all things that I still feel skittish sharing these opinions because it was so uh, difficult to talk about them on social media because there was so much censorship around it. And you getting in trouble for saying it, even though it's all come true. A lot of it, a lot of the skepticism has become justified. Right. It has all come true. The COVID was fake. The shots ain't going to do nothing uh, but put them nanobots in your ass and that's about it and break down your damn organs and then eventually kill you while you're being hackable and they can run your ass and, uh, you know, make you do whatever the fuck they want to. Oh, and uh, a kill switch was put on your ass as you took the damn shot. They just wanted you to take the damn shot. That was it. That was it. Right. I think the point you're making is so important, which is that if Bill Gates was just a private entrepreneur, wanted to invest his money here, invest his money there and say what he wanted, you know, about his investments, like no one would really have a problem with that. Right. Like in the in the context of, you know, the marketplace or what have you. The problem is that there is 100 percent agreement between the billionaire class of people like Bill Gates and then the media class who are supposed to tell us the truth and, you know, or do their best to do so, which they don't. And then the social media tech industry. Right. And together there was collusion between these three right. and then collusion. the government to yep. force you yep. to become a slave to the thing that ended up profiting Bill Gates. Right. So on its own. Yes. In other words, I don't know where. In other words. Yes, it was all a collusion, a plot and a plan to get everybody to get that shot. And they used uh, that uh, little female, Bill Gates, uh, as the poster child uh, for that because it had some money and everybody looked up to people because they have money, you know, not nothing else. You know, all you need is to slice up some trees and put some color and uh, alphabets and numbers on them and everything. And then that's the most important thing right there. And they... If they have all of that, then they must know the truth and they must yep. uh, be uh, able to uh, bring forth the truth and always provide cures and stuff. I guess that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Uh, that's how it went. <laughs> He could invest his money wherever he wants, mm -hmm. right? He could say whatever he wants right. and then he could, you know, do whatever he wants, right? right. But it's it's the, the thing that made this such an outrage and such an injustice was that the government was sort of putting its finger on the scales and that there was this collusion between elites in all these different arenas oh, to criminalize you. disagreeing in a way that put billions of dollars in his pocket. And I think that that is the thing that the American people really have a problem with, more so than and just, you know, him, you know, getting to have his say, you know, it's that he takes his money and it has. I think the American people are not even concerned about uh, what the drag king Bill Gates is doing with uh, with her money or none of that stuff or anything. I think a lot of the American people which have had those uh, jabs and those boosters are right now thinking more about, you know, their health situations because they're suffering from something, especially those that are. Uh, fully vaccinated and boosted, uh, if they're not, uh, have not passed away, uh, then they are really experiencing a lot of health issues now. And they could give two fucks about what this drag king is doing uh, with the supposed uh, pretend fake money, what is made and not made. And, uh, you know, and they're making a big old hoopla about this money issue, you know, when we all know that they all came together and had to do this and everybody was, you know, mandated and whatever in the hell else words they want to use to say they had to go get that damn shot. <laughs> and that was it. Nobody gives, no, nobody gives two fucks about what is money was made or none of that. Uh, the people now are seeing the reactions of the shots. Uh, it's not a secret no more because they're never ending. Uh, anyone that can see, uh, you know, it depends on how much boosting that you've gotten because you may not be able to see a damn thing after so many boosts. <laughs> but, you know, uh, my point is nobody gives a fuck about what money and nobody who 
Nobody cares nothing about who made what money off of nothing, except for these ones right here, trying to put that in your head now and give you something to think about other than uh, your health and how you deteriorating so much faster than you ever did before you got that care. That's about it. That's all I can see. And I'm done with this. All right. Y'all be safe out here. I love you.